great network to go plug into. It's just like or if you're fortunate enough to get invested, you know, by first round capital or us or Fred yeah. at Union Square. I'm gonna or walk you through Sequoia. all this. It doesn't really matter. Like you can be, you get plugged into that. It's just you're off to the races. It, it's it's such an advantage. How long, you know, and how valuable is that education that they give at a Y Combinator or your company? Like, it seems to me like when I was coming up as an entrepreneur in the mid '90s, you know, uh, into the late '90s, you had to figure all this stuff out on your own. Yeah. Difference between an LLC and an S corp and a C corp, you know, preferred stock, the term sheet. It was almost like the whole industry was so opaque. It's like the whole industry's been open sourced. It is because when I, because I remember all the, all the, you it's all out there. Right? There was no the term sheets available. No. I was like when I was starting, I was like, Can I see a term sheet? And it was like, Oh, well, we'll give you one. But <laughs> it was like almost like all the VCs back then did not want anybody else to see a term sheet. And if you got a term sheet, you wouldn't show it to any other entrepreneur. That was considered like not appropriate. Now That's it's right. like everybody's term sheet is plastered everywhere and there's millions of Bradfelds, whatever, blog posts explaining like here's what a term sheet is, here's how to break it down. Is it too easy? Maybe. Maybe? Getting a little easy? Well, let's, you have to look at that. You have to unpack that. Let's unpack that one. Different this lenses, is an interesting discussion. Right? Yeah. So, um, boy, it couldn't be, it can never be easy enough for individuals who have a passion to go start a business, right? You right. know, that is the American dream. It's like right. everybody. Get you, the red tape out of the way, I go mean, do this it. This is amazing, yeah. right? For, for anybody. Quite a moment in Coming time. out of school or doesn't go to school, it doesn't matter. This is like, like, an incredible journey. You've been on it. Yeah. I've been on it. I mean, what fun? Is there anything more fun? Not that I can think of. I mean, it reminds me of like when I played sports. Right? It, I was about to say, team. you know what it reminds it, me of? Like being it, part of a yeah, team. Yeah, it reminds right? me the of playing in the World Series of Poker so, so, or something. So, you know, so like, I think from that, it's up there in point, terms of peak experience. It's phenomenal. Yeah. More money, more good. Yeah. But there is an impact somewhere in the ecosystem. Right. Right, because there's not a tremendous amount of exits in the IPOs, and, and well, it's cyclical. You know, we've been saying that for now for a decade, and right. we're still waiting. We're still but, waiting for the shoe to drop. This might be the year, and next year well, might be. Well, let's be honest. But, between but, 2001 and 2005, there were not a lot of companies founded. There's not. But between 2006 and 2011, or 2008 and 2011, it's crazy. It's insane. Between 2008 and 2011, there are probably more companies than between 2001 and 2008, right? I would think so. Yeah. Yeah. I would think so. We're going so, three times as fast. So so. So all of a sudden, it becomes harder to select. It means there is noise. more noise, more difficult to actually build traction. Competition. You know, the competition is crazy. The funding can be crazy. Mm -hmm. um, valuations go up, the, and the amount of go users and, and, and many, customers goes how down. How many exits are there out there? Right. Now, what might happen, there might be this whole mid-tier of companies, because I do think the tech companies are getting wealthier by the minute. Sure. The, big the amount difference, of cash the in the big bank. Difference, the big difference in this decade versus the last decade is, is what? the economics showed up. Right. There's money. People, People are, are making spending money, money on yes. services. Yes. People aren't shocked that you ask them for their credit card. Right. People aren't shocked to pay you money. Advertising. There you go. Or to see the advertising. All this has matured Group tremendously. On. So, you know, what I my fear is though we wake up and we've got a ton of businesses that are really small revenue. We got we have a thousand businesses making one to five million dollars that are profitable. There you go. What do you do with them? What do you do with them? You've just recreated Main Street. Bingo. And that's not You've been watching This Week in Startups. To watch the full episode, click here. To check out some other shows from This Week in, click here.